Today we're on the Mission Control set, which is it should be a university lecture theatre, but we've sort of shortened it, lit it up real nice, and it's going to be our Mission Control for the day. I'm Ollie, I'm the production designer, and I'm overseeing them putting together the set. Production designer designs the look of everything in the background, essentially. So you have a set where the actor does their thing. That's basically what this is. So the spaceship's being uh, built by Pinewood Creative, who do this sort of thing all the time. They build sets and props and pieces for films. So we've got real professionals working on it. So it would be a matter of trying to incorporate each of these as maybe a glazing bar or something. Oh, so that's no problem. That's fine. Is that yeah. all right? Well, that yeah. would be... OK. I don't know that's a problem. Then, then, we'll just, then that's just a simple cut a hole in. The set build for us has got quite a specific challenge in that it has to be shot for a few days on a normal soundstage. So it has to be held up to that, it has to be the right size and, and work for an actor to move around and interact with. But it also then, a week later, has to be sunk underwater to achieve our zero gravity section. This is gonna be um, the major sequences of um, Nozomi inside the capsule, which I think takes up about 20 minutes of, of screen time. So that's two thirds of the film. Um, and hopefully we'll be, we'll be shooting bits of that today and then tomorrow again. And then next week, um, we'll be putting it underwater and doing some fly-throughs of zero G, yeah. My name is uh, Bob Ballen. Um, I'm a special effects uh, technician, used to work with the late great uh, Derek Reddings. When we were doing Moonraker, uh, we did all the uh, Drax's space station and uh, all the space battles. Uh, obviously there was no, no CG in those days and uh, it was all purely model miniatures. we